Okay, hi everyone. Let's uh, do the burette test for protein. All right, for this test, you will need two reagents. One is sodium hydroxide, and the other one is carbonic sulfate, okay, which is light blue in color. So, okay, so once again, you would usually be given an unknown solution in a prag, but I'll be using two known solutions. Okay, one is just distilled water. Okay, the other one is ag albumin, which is basically a protein solution. Right, so in, in terms of quantity, you don't need a whole lot. It can be 1 cm cube to 2 cm cube, which is 1 to 2 cm in depth. Now, I'm going to start from the distilled water first. All right, for sodium hydroxide, adding about equal volume to whatever you have here. All right, so since I added in 2 cm cube, I'm adding 2 cm cube of sodium hydroxide. All right, so give it a shake okay, to make sure they're thoroughly mixed. And then adding the copper to sulfate drop by drop. Okay, shake after every drop. All right, it doesn't have to be exactly one drop. It can be two drops and give it a shake until you see any change or maybe no change. All right, so in this case, there is obviously no change. The solution stays kind of a faint, quite very, very faint kind of blue. Right, so this is what we call a negative observation because COP2 sulfate itself is a blue solution. Right, so basically there's no color change. But if you do the same thing for ag albumin, right, same thing, adding equal volume of sodium hydroxide. Right, so make sure the dropper doesn't touch the wall. Okay, give it a shake. Then adding copper to sulfate. Okay, once again, drop by drop. Right, and you can see that after adding even just two drops, okay, there is an obvious color change of blue to purple. Right, so adding more would just intensify the purple color. And that is a positive observation. Right, if you compare the left versus the right, you see the blue versus the purple. All right, so that's negative versus positive, which means no protein versus there is protein. All right, so that's the burette test. So once again, if you're given a solid sample, okay, such as a solid uh, piece of potato or, or tomato okay, or banana or whatever, you need to mash it up first, right, then put it in a boiling tube, put in some water, give it a shake, let the solid bit settle down so that you have sufficient liquid portion on top here, then you carefully pour out the liquid portion and then perform your burette test on the liquid portion and never on the, the solid portion directly. Right, so that's it for our burette test. Okay, thank you.